Good morning from Valencia, the city that shows that today at least it's not always sunshine and roses on the Mediterranean holidays. Does it can rain, also rain. Does the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Yes, Eliza. <laughs> so we are going to go have a a bit of breakfast and then we're heading to into the city just to have a wander around and explore um we've got to take i think the shuttle bus which is 13 euros each return which is quite expensive so i'm kind of like Ugh. but it is a secure port uh from the looks of it i think and it's four kilometers into the city so uh, with josh I mean, if it was just justin i think we'd probably walk it but i think with josh that's going to be a bit too much walking for him, isn't yeah. it? Is that too much walking for you, Josh? Too much. Too much walking. Uh, needs to go fill up on donuts. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get six of them. S oh, no, you're not. Six donuts? No, you're not. You'll turn into a donut at this rate, Josh. Look at, look at this. Look, look turn uh, into I, a donut. I want to eat myself. Ooh. Oh, uh, it's cannibalism. No, please don't eat yourself, Josh. Josh. Yeah. Josh has gone for pancake, pancake, sweet, 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 sweet. So Josh said he was going to go and get some fruit to balance out that sugar. I didn't realise I should have known he was going to get sugared fruit. <laughs> Tin fruit doesn't quite count, Josh. Never mind. Good effort, though. Good effort. Confusing, isn't that? Why? Here, yeah. Why? Yeah. There's just no real information, no anything. Just kind of like, come on out, <laughs> get um, off into the middle of the container port. Nothing. They said there was a shuttle bus that you could buy, and the instructions they said to buy it didn't exist. So, yeah. You can't find anyone from Costa. Around. No one from Costa around to ask. It's not great, actually. I have to say, yeah, it's been a bit not great at all. Yeah. We've had a taxi run because there seems to be about three taxis. So that's kind of worrying. Everyone else and a very, there. very long queue for taxis right, now. So I think we're going to go join the queue for the taxis. Uh, well, we made to the shuttle bus. So. We found the <laughs> shuttle bus. We didn't have to queue for no. the taxi. Taxi was okay. So. Yeah. It is 13 euros each, though, return. So including Josh, which is a bit, bit steep. Deep. I mean, come on, Costa. Yeah. Seriously, for a kid, 13 euro. Yeah, it's a bit steep. But, um, yeah, we're in the shuttle bus, heading into the town. We're going to explore one of our... Uh, followers, yeah, followers. Yes, followers on Instagram. Has on Instagram lives in Valencia and has given us name? some tips. I'm really bad with names, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, so has given us a lot of sort of tips. Vincente, yeah. Has so given us lots of tips, yeah. Given us lots of tips about what to see and what to eat and mm. in the city. So uh, let's go and see uh, what there is to enjoy. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. Where are you going now? Valencia is probably best known for its city of arts and sciences, full of futuristic buildings and the Oceanarium, as well as the nearby Albufeira Wetlands Reserve. Are you doing your Titanic? <laughs> Today we decided to tour the old town and visit the cathedral, home of the Holy Grail. Apparently. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. It's like a little tiny garden in there. A little hidden garden. 
very heady smell of the oranges as well, orange trees. Oh. Look, just a few little oranges growing on the tree in there. We have a little personal tradition that each time we visit a cathedral around the world, we light a candle for those in our family who are no longer with us. It's a really nice city and that lovely church as well, the cathedral, sorry, was really worth going into. We went in search of the uh, Saint Real, the, uh, the, the Cup of Christ, the Cup of Christ, which mm, whether you believe it or not, I don't know, but it's very pretty, very impressive and the cathedral was stunning. So, yeah, we're gonna go and get some, what's it called, Justin? <laughs> Fartons and Cochetta, which apparently is a local delicacy and quite sweet. So we're gonna go and try some of that, or at least, yeah, Josh is, at least Josh wants some sweet desserts. Of course he does. Josh is starving. He's starving. He's starving. Yeah. He's looking at all the gelato on the way and going, oh. Here we go. We've come to Santa, Santa Catalina, which is for um, Bartons and Chata. Chata? Chata. Chata. Yeah, sorry if so, I massacred that. Yeah. So that's what it's like. Oh. It's, like a, it's supposed to be like a sweet kind of tiger nut milk. Yeah, it's actually quite good. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Yeah, maybe. It's like a bread. It's like, um, yeah, bread with um, sugar. I see sugar. Ice cream. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So this is the horchata and this is the mountains. Yeah. Just try one. Why'd you go for the one on the bottom, the most difficult one to get to? Good. Daddy, do you want to try it? Interesting, yeah? It's a little bit like oat milk, but very, very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah. Let's try a... croissant cross with that's what I thought a, I don't know bread yeah like with a bread roll with, 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 with loads of ice yeah. on top yeah nice though it's okay though yeah, yeah. After a short break and a sweet snack, we explored the stunning old town some more, finding many beautiful markets, including this enormous food market. The weather turning, we decided to head back to the coaches and the ship. Unfortunately, so did most of the other passengers that day. It's quite disorganized, isn't it? Yeah, like, um, it's just about to rain, so just I'm not going to be very happy if No rain. information, and they just seem to be... Oh, so you wait for a bus and three come along at once, so... Uh, I don't know, but there's very little information, though. It's not good. It's a bit chaotic. It's a bit chaotic. It's very chaotic. 
to be honest, a bit poor for what they're charging for a shuttle bus, but mm. oh well, we're on the bus. Is that bank? Yeah. And maybe go for a little swim in the inside pool. Maybe. Yeah. It's raining, so, uh, yeah. The inside? Yeah, no. After finally making it on a coach, Josh informed us he was starving. So we headed to Il Vigneto for a light lunch, family style. This here is a restaurant where it's just like breakfast that uh, you just share different things together. So family style as well. Yeah, family style, yeah. certainly. So I think this is gonna be some type of pork. So that's a sort of smoked pork. We've got some cured Not meats and we've got mozzarella and tomatoes. This is kind of first round. Yummy, yummy, yum. Yum, yum, yum. So, um, let's we'll tuck, in. tuck in. Yeah. The prawnies. Are you gonna eat them all? No. Well, I think I'll stick with the chicken and the potatoes and the omelette. Um, that can stay well over there, way over in his reach. We spent most of the rest of the afternoon in the spa and Josh went to the kids club for some movie time. So, we are back after an afternoon in the uh, uh, spa. Yes? What are you laughing Yes, because I was drinking that really like, weirdly as you like, panned it over to me, I was like... Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't mind him. So, yes, let's start again. So, let's start again. So, Josh went to Kids Club. Uh, we went to the spa um, because we've got one of these packages where we can use spa for three days. But it's a bit, with Josh, the only difficulty is, is that Kids Club's only open certain sessions and so we can only do maybe one or two times in the spa a day. Um, so it's a bit difficult. Uh, the spa was not as relaxing as what it has been previously. Um, we had probably, it was like a pool party when we first went in, rather than a spa, would you not agree? Yeah, so I think those three women thought it was spring break. Uh, yeah, there was three Italian, oh, I think they were like Italian. Yeah, they were. They were like, the Italian tenoys, we called them. Um, they just were like, so loud, and you could hear them everywhere through the ship. Even in the nice, like, calming salt room, we couldn't even get a break. Uh, it was, the salt room music. Yeah, and it was like sound, it should have been like soundproof in there, but it definitely wasn't with them. So yeah, um, it wasn't as relaxing. They didn't stay there the whole time. They only stayed for a couple of hours, a oh, couple, goodness. probably about half an hour or something. And then they went, and then the, the spa sort of was okay. Um, given with all the restrictions, I think they still let too many people in the spa. Um, so it's not always as enjoyable. I don't think it's restriction related. I think they just let too many people in the spa full stop. Yeah. Most cruise lines are quite restrictive in so that when you go and you pay for that, you get a good experience. Yeah. You just seem to let loads it. I mean, yeah, there was probably, I don't know, there's a lot of people in there. Yeah, there was quite a it, lot it, of people. It, it affects your yeah. time in there and it makes it not so relaxed. I mean, sirens aside it makes it not so relaxing it's just yeah i think costa need to th rethink that approach i've been in other spas where it's been a bit like that on cruise ships as well but yeah really yeah i think we have um there's um some out of april spritz so we just came back and i just wanted to point out the beauty of the terrace and again. how again again um is that it is absolutely sort of bucketing outside at the moment um, and yet here we are lounging in the sort of outdoor area. Access the outdoor, you can still look and enjoy yeah, you can still enjoy the sea yeah. and then uh, lounge around out here on the terrace. So it has been well worth it. And I would say that if we come on Costa again, we would definitely, definitely, this definitely is... do the terrace again. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Smacking your phone around. He'll report you to that. But 
given how small the uplift is for this compared to a balcony, mm -hmm. it is worth it. Although I would be careful, there are the odd one or two. Look at the deck plan carefully. Ours is great because you're not really overlooked. Mm -hmm. There's the odd one or two that are near the stairs from nine to ten to eight. Yeah, and they're, they're the looked promenade. overlooked. And therefore you are a bit exposed. Not as bad as Iona's, but you are exposed. Yeah. So, we're going to have a drink. Uh, I need to look at my hair, it looks awful after the spa. Oh, nice. um, but we're going to have a shower, get ready, and then we're going to go for dinner. Casual dinner. Casual dinner again tonight. And then uh, we'll see where the night takes us again. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh, off to dinner. We are running late as usual. And George is now running. And Papa has, yeah, of course, beat the last one out. So, he will hopefully catch us up. Yeah, we are. Ten minutes late for dinner. Uh -oh. Service is a bit chaotic tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of people on. There's a lot of new staff on tonight, and I think they're struggling a bit with the older staff to get the new staff trained. So service is suffering a bit, but um, yeah. What's it like anyway? So this is a salty cheesecake. Whoa. Sounds interesting. Mm. Is that Philadelphia or on a sort of crunchy biscuity base? Not great or? It's savory. It's, it's all right. It's quite nice actually. Josh, what do you think about yours? It's good. Yeah? You're demolishing it really quick. I'm just going for the plain pasta tonight, um, but it's good. This is really, really good pasta, so I don't mind having it. I don't know about you, Tristan, but is that a sign of uh, some nice food? Look at these plates. And I wasn't even particularly hungry. No, I wasn't either, but the food's so good that I had to finish. The veal cheek was really tender. Was it? Yeah, I mean... As you said the chicken was chi chickeny chicken. Chickeny chicken. Oh. And um, there's a lot of olive oil on everything on all my meals tonight, so... so we should be well lubricated. We're going to be very well lubricated tonight on olive oil. So I've got the uh, Black, Black Forest... Forest it's cool, which is like a black forest cactus. But just, um, just very carefully because it's it. sort of liquid, yeah. But have a sniff. Ooh, fish. Mm, and chocolate. Mm. Oh, I can smell it in there. It smells nice, doesn't it? Look at Joshua's. And Josh has gone for the cheesecake. Girls dig a dancer. Oh yeah. They do. That made you for that face loud, didn't it? How's your sex on the beach? Zero. <laughs> I don't know we both say that. How is it Josh? Is it good? Good. Not too sandy, yeah? Yeah. Not on the beach. Is it more like Brighton Beach, a bit pebbly? <laughs> After some post-dinner aperitifs, Josh wanted to head to Kids Club again, and we enjoyed the circus-style act and ultramarine in the Coliseum.
And now it's time for late night drinks on the terrace. Good evening for another uh, late night drinks on the uh, terrace. And how's your night tonight, Josh? Good, I was playing bingo. Bingo and kids? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah? Sound like you had a bit of a more exciting night than Papa and Daddy. Did you win anything? No. They weren't giving you prizes, were they? Mm. They were? They were giving hats and bands oh, and stuff. Gosh, mm. and you didn't win anything yet. Don't worry, I'm sure something will come along. Mm. So we had a night in the theatre. We watched this um, John, what was it called? John Rowe Circus or something? Yeah, Jin Rowe uh, Circus. Jin Rowe Circus. Um, to be quite honest, it wasn't much circus, it was just all singing. A uh, bit of acrobatics. What, um, did, what did I say it was like? I said it was like a bad... Um, circus lay. No, bad what's the name act? Uh, burlesque act. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit burlesque at some times, but... I mean, yeah, it was okay. Tonight the entertainment seemed a bit flat, but um, Ultramarine, who is like the Ukrainian girls group we're on, they were, you know, they're pretty stock standard, pretty good. I think they've been pretty much a standout yeah. act for us yeah. during this cruise. Yeah, I think most people are quite tired tonight and sleepy, so, mm. yeah. I think everyone's trying yeah. to get to bed early tonight, yeah, so. Yeah. So what cocktails have we gone for tonight? So I've gone with a Hugo Rossa again. Okay. Joshua? Josh? I went for my Sex on the Beach. Sex on the Beach, zero. 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 And I went for, wee. A decent one on the rocks. Yeah, because why not? Why not? So let's finish uh, our drinks, and we will beat everyone. And oh, tomorrow's a sea day. Yes. Yay! So I, I can finally sleep in. No, not really. Oh. Breakfast is still only till ten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't care if I don't have breakfast. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I have it just so different in the morning. Yeah, I'm sure you'll want your pile of, of croissants and it's sweet and breads donuts and donuts and, and, and everything that you have, yeah. As bad as the Italians. Exactly. Oh, I don't know. Yeah? Right? I'm not like the person that I'm breakfast. But yeah, so we're going to have a nice day reach around the ship. There's a couple of things on. Oh, there's a, there's a show on tomorrow at lunchtime, which looks quite good. And it starts with the title of The Birthday Boy, Boy. Joshua. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. So we'll have to kind of see what's going on there. Because you were the birthday boy last Friday, weren't you? Because, yeah, that's with the people that do the Michael Jackson night, so it should okay. be fun, actually. Excellent. Excellent. And then there's um, Shuffle, Freddie Mercury Shuffle. sort of tribute, isn't there? And there's a Freddie Mercury. It's not a tribute. Not a tribute, know. but something about Freddie Mercury. So it's interesting. Yeah, that's tomorrow evening, so that should be interesting. Yeah. Like a queen kind of queen night. sort of night. So, yeah. And then there's the voice at sea, but we'll probably skip that because I'm not too fussed by that. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna bit of run now. A uh, 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 farewell. Sorry, you can tell. Adieu. I'm so, adieu. I'm so tired. It's not. Trust me, it's not the drink. It's it's the tiredness tonight. Yeah. So yeah. we bid you adieu, 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 and we say good night, good night, buonanotte, and bon nuit. Bon nuit. Bon Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Like comment and share.